Did you know with the technology now, you can rapidly grow an email list or have a massive exposure of your business or services. With a proper scripting tool in place, you can build a quality email list within a matter of minutes. If you are a marketer, you can also use this email list to build a custom audience on your advertising platform. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to find contact emails, phone numbers, and social profiles from a list of website URLs. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Right before getting to the fun stuff, it's really important to mention a few notes here. Number one, with the scripting data and emails, you don't want to spam people or businesses. And secondly, don't send too many email requests within a short period of time. There's a higher chance your email will marked as a spam. And thirdly, you want to have a legitimate interest. Either your business or your services or your products actually solves tangible problems for these list of emails you're trying to reach out. And number four, you don't want to breach GDPR. Either you're from EU country or you're trying to script data from EU country country, you definitely don't want to breach that. Last but not least, you might want to consult with your local lawyer or read a little bit on your local law to make sure whatever you're doing is legitimate and you're not against the law. With that said though, here is a list of websites we're going to script as a demonstration in this video. You can see mainly it's a real estate dominated niche here. And now let's quickly touch on the scripting tool we're going to use for this tutorial. Mainly I'm using Altscraper. I've been using this for almost half a year so far. I absolutely love this platform because the data is is accurate, is reliable, and it's cheap as well. And here is Outscraper's pricing plan. You can see the free tier comes with the 500 domains. It's really generous free plan that you can use and try it out. From there, we'll have a medium tier and a business tier. The pricing is slightly different, but still it's a super, super cheap, right? 0.002 pre-domain, including email, phone number, and social profiles. And you can have a calculator here, it depends on how many you want to script. Let's say if you just want to script 1000 domains, it only only cost one dollar right it's a super cheap and the technology does the job amazingly well and they also have a money back guarantee to make sure whatever you script with the data you're happy with <music> Once you have your Outscraper account all set, you want to log into your dashboard. You can see the third menu option here is other service. The first option here we're going to use, which is email and a contact scraping tool. You can see here is a list of domain I mentioned earlier. You can manually input these domain one by one that takes one line pre domain, or you can upload CSV file. So to save you a little bit more time. And from there, I want to choose other parameters. You can choose different formats in terms of the final spreadsheet. If you want to use Google Sheets, I recommend CSV. If you want to use Excel, then you can go with the first option there. For better organization, you might want to insert a tag here just to remind yourself in the future what this entire scripting is all about. From there, you want to click on Get Data and Outscraper is going to give you an estimate. This is just a rough estimate. You can see we have 14 websites we're going to script and rough cost of this scripting task is going to cost three cents in total. And remember, this is just a rough estimate. Things do fluctuate up and down depends on the final results from there you're happy with everything click on confirm and we're going to send this task into our task query two seconds later and you can see it literally took less than three to five seconds to find all the emails and contacts from these 13 locations and now all you need to do is click on one of these titles it'll automatically download the csv file here's the final csv file i'm ready to upload it to google sheets so the first thing you want to do is open a blank sheet you want to click on file you want to click on import and just click on the last option which is upload and you want to drag and drop this file into this box and just a friendly reminder here if you go with a csv file it will give you the option to replace the current sheet however if you script the excel file then you don't have this option to replace the current sheet it will force you to create a new sheet in that case and the settings are all good click on import data and here's the entire data sheet we uploaded to google sheets first thing what i like to do is to click on the top left corner select the entire sheet come to the end of any of the columns and you want to do a double click and this will stretch the column to make everything fit and now let's quickly review these columns the data points to see what all scraper provided to us first column here is a query column so you can see here's a 14 website i input into the system in total all scraper is going to find the best three emails from that website you can see email number one here's the entire list and here's the full name if it's empty fields that means the website didn't indicate any full name or title from there we found email number two full name and title email number three 
full name and title. And from there, we also found phone number number one, number two, number three from the same website. And we also found their Facebook account. These are mainly the pages. And we found the IG, Instagram account. We have LinkedIn. And here's a list of social media platforms, even though this website is not on these platforms, but our scraper is still looking for Reddit, Skype, Snapchat, Telegram, and WhatsApp. And towards the end, we can see Twitter. We found a whole bunch of them. Vmail is included as well. If you want to find their YouTube channel, here it is. And towards the end, you can see here's a website title. For example, if you offer local SEO service, it's really important to make sure their website title has the keywords and it's optimized, right? If you find anything that needs optimization, that's probably a good time to reach out. And from there, we have a website generator. This is one of my favorites as well. You can quickly glance to see what website builder they used to build their website. You can see here's WordPress 5.7.2. Another tip here, if you find their WordPress is outdated and if you offer web design service, this is a really good intro or opening line that you can tell them that their WordPress has been outdated and it's really important to update their website database. And from there, we'll have a website description more like a data. And the last two columns here indicates if they are running paid advertisement or promotion. You can see Facebook pixels and a lot of them are false or unknown. If you see true, that means this business might be running Facebook ads, right? If you see false, and if you run local advertisement agency, then it's really good time to reach out to them. They're leaving a lot of money on the table by not running Facebook advertisement. And from there, we have a Google tag as well. You can see this website has the Google tag installed, but has not yet installed Facebook pixels on their website. By now, you have just learned how to leverage technology and scraping tool like our scraper to find a list of contacts, phone numbers, social profiles with a list of domains and URLs. If you have any questions, comments, or observations, Drop them below. We're happy to address them in the future tutorial videos. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.